Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today? Are you good? Good afternoon, ครับ Okay, good afternoon, ครับ Manit and everyone, นะครับ So I hope that all of you are fine today, นะครับ So today we are going to have the presentation first, นะครับ We are going to have the presentation first. I sent the presentation order in the line group already. So um, we begin with the short cases first, นะครับ The first one we the case case number one. Okay, let me just talk about the case study that we have. Case one, um, Momas, นะครับ Global Hotels and Momas Motels, นะครับ will be presented by um, Lex team and p i t i p a t s team, นะครับ While the second one, นะครับ the second um, case is What should Lisa do, นะครับ will be presented by Not the Nice team and Supergrid team, นะครับ After that, for the rest of you, นะครับ we have to present. Um, The case study for the team discussion number one, นะครับ Case study bus on smart grids, นะครับ So the order of presentation will be like this, นะครับ We start from w a r w i t h team, p u n n a w i t s u p a k i t hang on, s u p a k i t actually, um, he presented already. I'm sorry. นะครับ We have n a t a n i s h a นะครับ p i t i p a t Daniel, r a t a n o n นะครับ Thomas and n a c h a p o n ครับ Do we have any other team left who is not in the list? Okay, so if we don't have any other team left, นะครับ um, that I I may miss that team, นะครับ So we may begin with um, the the first case, นะครับ small case, นะครับ motel Mama's motel by Alex team first, นะครับ So do we share something like uh, our? Yes. yes, please, please share. Um, your note or your page that you want to um, use it as a material to share with your classmate. Can you see here? Yep, it's very clear. Uh, okay. So the question is: Should MoMA's use Global Hotels information systems or continue with its own? Um, and we think that it should not. Uh, first of all, MoMA's and Global Hotels have very different business profiles. So Global Hotels is a very large multinational corporation with hotels scattered across the world, while MoMA's is just a regional chain which has motels in Western Canada. So from the get-go, uh, it's not effective for MoMA's to have the same information systems as Global Hotels. Um, and even though Global Hotels is a well-established hotel chain with very efficient information systems. I think MoMA's would be better off using information information systems that suit the characteristics of their business, so which is a smaller business. Does my group speak as well? <laughs> Or yeah. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, now let's move on. I have. Um, I got the information that on the last class we had p i t i p a t s team who present um, case one already, right? So, um, so for for um, Alex team, you finished already? Uh, no, no. There's, I mean, there's still more. I, I can say. Do, do we all have to okay, speak? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oh. Yeah. But does does the whole group speak? Um, up to you. h huh? depends. I don't mind. In um, your I'll, speak? I'll, yeah, I'll speak. I'll speak the second paragraph. Um, since they are both a hotel chain, their business processes are quite similar. Um, but the information system that they have been using now are very widely different. Um, global hotels have specialized support system, which is built in house. Um, with guest reservation system, um, this means global hotel has developed information system for their hotels in particular. On the other hand, Mamas use a vertical re reservation package and a generic accounting and finance package. Global hotels information systems are very targeted towards huge companies and are custom made just for global hotels requirements. Whereas Mamas information system are generic, but work well with the kind of business that Mama is running, which is a small to medium sized business. So, 
On the downside, if MoMA keeps using their own information systems, it will compromise on efficient EDI and communication between global hotels and MoMAs. Uh, but it, I think it's still better for MoMAs to use global's information system because, well, to make better communication, global hotels could develop um, a program, for example, a program that can take in data from MoMAs and make it processable or better to read for, for global hotels to read it more efficiently. Um, or they could develop a new information system for MoMAs, which resembles a global hotels information system or another information system that can easily communicate with the ones that global hotels is using, but still works better for small to medium sized uh, and regional hotel chains. And maybe a stretch, but which could also technically work is for MoMAs to expand their motels so that they uh, so that they become a worldwide company um, so that they can effectively use global hotels information systems. That's that's it. OK, All right. OK, thank you for Alex team. Now, um, it's my misunderstood nah, for the question. Actually, Pidipat, okay, Pidipat team, nah, please present on uh, case number one. Nah. Okay, um, well, should I share the screen now? Yes, please. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so our team thought uh, MoMA should switch to use a global hotels information system. So, um, in order to adopt them, um, that would, I think that would be a uh, initial co cost to integrate the system, but it will be offset by most of the uh, utility efficiency and compatibility. Uh, for the change, uh, based on the profile, I think it wouldn't change much because uh, the objective of the business is still the same. They still operate as a, as a hotel business uh, for process. I think it, uh, so it wouldn't change much because the percent it depends on the real world. It only change when the staff interact with information system. For some uh, interactivities, it will have dramatic change in the operation of the software. The staff need to learn from the zero to use the new system. Um, but once they get used to it, um, everything will be much uh, better. Uh, for electronic data interchange, it will be much faster because everyone uses the same system of format, the uh, same that data format. Um, for the suggestion, uh, since the specification are uh, and analysis are the first step, our program would have simple and specific role and requirement. Um, this will in assist formats with the introduction of modern technology and corporate and financial procedure as well as the integration of the element from board to meet the need of both robots and MoMAs. Um, MoMA wouldn't be able to see the product they would be using until they have been on board, had a system reveal and uh, connect to the global system. Um, this introduced a degree of risk in the finished result may not fulfill the user expectation or requirements. And if we must use generic structure, if the process and the specifications are complex, the new model will not be able to accommodate them. If there are any specifications or change that need to be made on the existing, existing procedure, testing manual and requirements might be revised and modified on a regular basis. Okay, thank you for um, the parts group. Uh, let's move on to the second case. Uh, we begin with not the nice group first and then followed by Supergrid's team. We can begin now, all right? Yes. Okay, so we're going to begin with a little bit of summaries of the case that we got. So the case is about Lisa, right? She got two job offers. The first offer is from some more board companies. The mobile company in small house and the, the they offer Lisa to be there to make that to basically create their IT department for them. 
but the cash in Lisa need to like be be the first and the only I IT person in that company. So basically, she need to work maybe working alone. And second offer is from bigger truck companies, really huge nationwide truck companies. They offer her to be programmer analyst, and then she got to work in bigger company with uh, with her team and stuff, right? And if her job he she really do do well, they gonna promote her into other position, but there's still a rumor about another company coming that take over the truck companies, but it's just still a rumor. So basically, right, we try to to be to fit into Lisa show if we we what is to offer we what what offer we gonna choose. That's what we did as a team. So let's see what we thought about that. Okay. Since we don't know the full extent of Lisa's capabilities, we are just going to break it into two cases. If Lisa works for the first company, she may have to do all the work of the IG department alone, including being a system analyst while getting less pay. However, she would receive a unique opportunity to build and experience the IT department's growth from ground up as to be the sole member of the department. And for the second uh, case, the second option, option if uh, Lisa were to go to the Albert Marley Express, Lisa will not only have to deal with less work, but she'll also have uh, received a higher salary. This uh, workload might even be further reduced as to whether the company will be obtained by a larger parent company. However, she will have a uh, less experience or not as broad of an experience due to the size of the company. Additionally, if uh, the Albert Marley Express were to be sold to another company, there might be a change in management of the company and the work ideology of the company might also be changed. But this might not uh, really have a big of an, of an effect to her position. Um, but this is just a rumor, so uh, nothing solid we'd know. Just that. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Now let's move on to the next team. The next team is um, Supergrid's team. Yep. So I can't hear the the um, the voice of the presenter. Uh, I think it's Yu Chen, right? Yu Cheng, right? So um, please check your microphone. Right? I'm not sure whether you start speaking something or not. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah. Okay. It's, good afternoon, everyone. And today we're gonna present about case two. And as the last group mentioned and summarize the case, Lisa was struggling to decide which company she should choose. And there are trade off in each company. So here we're gonna present our suggestion to Lisa and the reason behind it. We suggest Lisa should go for the second offer. If she works in the album, album Run Express, she will be working with a whole team instead of working alone. The importance of working as a team is that ideas are diverse and which is good for the development of the company. If she accepts the uh, first offer, it might be hard for her to make progress. And other than this, she will be under a lot of pressures because she needs to take the whole responsibility of any IT related problems. Another reason is that she will be working with a more stable company, which has a better profile overall which will probably give her better money and equal work compared to the first company, which is a smaller company. In addition, if somehow another company uh, successfully acquired the express company, as what the rumor said, they will, need, they will still need workers to work for them. So there is a very small chance she will lose her job. Compared to the first offer, we can see that Lisa is getting paid more and when she work with the team, she can develop her skill to receive more opportunities in the future. And that is, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so um, 
I get the question from Alex to ask whether we get the answer for the case studies for the short case one and two. Right? It depends on your in, it depends on your suggestion. It depends on your justification for the case. There is no right or there is no wrong. Right? Depends on, um, I mean, like, because in the future, if you have to work right, in this occupation, like um, you are a system analyst, right? some of you may say that, okay, for case one, you should just like use your um, local setting right, for the Momas Motel. While another of you who is the um, system analyst of another company may say that, okay, Momas Motel should use the center um, system, the centralized system from um, the new company who just like um, purchased this motel. Uh -huh. So there is no right or wrong. Uh -huh. Both of the answers are okay too. Uh -huh. As long as you have the justification for your answer properly. But if you say that, okay, you should use the um, local system without modifying to um, the new company's policy without any justification. That one is wrong. We need the justification. Uh -huh. Okay. But I mean, for um, the case studies, that is the big case study. Uh -huh. That one, we have the guideline uh -huh, that I'll talk about it later on. So right now, I would like you to talk about, to, to start presenting of case study number one, uh -huh. team discussion number one for bus on smart grids, uh -huh, for bus on smart grid. So the new list of presenter, uh -huh, I revise it and just then just like, I type it in the, um, in the um, chat room, sorry, in the line group already, I also send it to the chat room. Okay. So we begin with Warwit, Punawit, Natnisha, Daniel, Ratanon, Thomas, and Natchapon's team. Okay. So let's begin with the first presenter, Warwit. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, I am going to summarize that this topic, uh, all in all, the current grid in the USA is dated and inefficient because it cannot provide information about how consumers use that energy. This makes it difficult to develop more efficient approaches to distribution. However, this issue can be solved by a smart grid as it is a digital technology informing the electric city flowing between electric power providers and individuals' households. Moreover, smart grids are user-friendly as the customers can check their power consumption levels and costs online and will soon be able to program home appliances over the web. As we know, nothing interesting is ever completely one-sided. The smart grids will not be cheap with estimate costs running as high as $75 billion, meter runs $250 to $500 each. And for the next question, how do smart grids differ from the current electric city infrastructure in the United States? Uh, as I told about the summary, the significant difference between the current electric city and smart grids in the United States it, is that the smart grids use the digital technology that provides customers convenient to monitor the electric city usage at any time. Moreover, consumers are able to track the distribution of services in their house, pro providing the electric city company to Im improve and develop the energy distribution, which may save energy, reduce carbon dioxide emission, reduce cost and increase reliability and transparency. However, the current electricity grid is old and not uh, efficient because it does not inform any energy uses of the consumers. Oh, sorry. Yeah, this will lead to a higher energy consumption, higher cost and higher pollution. Okay, so next is uh, the issue of the smart grid system. So there are three issues of this project. First issue is the management issue. The smart grid system must have a staff that have a potentials and skills about the decision to do because the smart grid system works by the determination of the staff. 
So the next one is the organization issue. So as we know that the smart market system work with the utility system of the government. So that means uh, how will the smart grid can come along with the values and cost benefits of the organization or the government. And the next one is the technology issue. Uh, to summarize about this, uh, the hardware is not, the, the hardware of the smart grid system is too expensive and it would be better to this project if we can uh, decrease the price. For the next question is, uh, what challenge do, to the development of, of smart grids do you think that is the more likely to hamper their development? To summarize about this, the cost of the material and the installation step of the smart grid are too expensive. Moreover, the user must learn about the confusing system before using the smart grid system. Not only take time by installing the system into your house or your city, but also cost of the whole system construction. If the company can solve this problem, the smart grid will reach everyone easily. Uh, so the next question is, uh, what other areas of our instructor could benefit from the smart technologies? Describe one example, not present in the case. So one example would be the construction and the mining industries. Uh, these are great choice because they use a lot of energy. As providing a smart kit technology to these projects would increase uh, effic efficiency of this particular work. For example, the industry will be able to make use of electricity provided by smart grid technology as uh, it would provide the, con the mining or constructing device a large amount of energy with less energy waste. So they do not need to depend on electricity solely from the main source. In consequence, uh, benefits like Provide, providing push energy resource are uh, already what investing in. Uh, and, but there are still some disadvantages. Firstly, this energy will be very expensive and could hardly be installed and integrated into the normal working routines of the system. In, in addition, uh, when there is a, an inappropriate use of this device, to the system, it is likely going to ruin the whole project as some of the parts may need to be repaired all at once. And it's going to cost a lot. Uh, likewise, uh, furthermore, this technology will re require a skill or qualified staff to, to take care of the smart grid technology. In conclusion, a smart grid can be useful, uh, useful in terms of providing energy to this projects or work if the company does not worry about um, uh, about the cost. The next question is, would you like your home and your community to be part of a smart grid? No, because the smart grid is too expensive, including the set, setup and or install, installation at my house. In addition, there would be, uh, there would be need to re replace a battery in the wrong land for the smart grid. Moreover, uh, this technology might be insecure, ins insecure because my personal information could be leaked via the mon monitoring system. For example, my own location. Uh, but there are still advantages using this technology. So I can, I can get to know how much energy I have used and I can do some restriction on it. And sometimes I can pay the electricity free uh, online. And moreover, it is likely that this technology will reduce the carbon footprint or global warming. Consequently, uh, I still would not prefer to use this kind of technology as it is, it is really expensive. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Hub. So let's move on to the next team. Hub. So um, the next team goes to Punawit team. Um, now I get the question from you in the line group, Nahab, talking about the time. I mean, like 
the time should be around five minutes. But if you just like um, spend a bit more, there's no problem. But I mean, the content is more important. You have to answer every question in the, um, in the case study. <laughs> okay, so we'll start with the summary. And so smart grid is like a solution to the electricity infrastructure in the US, which is outdated and inefficient. But there, um, the, the smart grid has many advantages over the current electricity grid. For example, like it has digital technology, which reduces cost, save energy, and increase reliability and transparency. It can also detect sources of power outages faster. Mm -hmm. And what this means is that utilities can respond to service problems more quickly and efficiently. And so a lot of energy companies and electric utility companies believe that smart grid is the future. Um, many companies like Duke Energy spent $35 million and also plan to spend $1 billion more. Florida Power and Light plan to spend $200 million. Centerpoint Energy also plan to spend $1 billion. But the impl implementation of smart grid is challenging. They have to change the infrastructure of electricity grids, which is difficult. And they have to create an intuitive and user -face interface. And it could cost as high as $75 billion to implement smart grid. And there's serious issue um, on privacy for smart grid. Next slide. How do smart grids differ from the current electricity infrastructure in the United States? The existing, uh, the current electricity infrastructure provides only the electricity service, but smart grids provide the information regarding the usage of electricity services and as well as the information of the distribution of energy or where it is being used. The smart grid provides electricity by utilizing digital technology in order to save energy, but the current grids do not deliver any information about how people utilize energy. The information between the provider and the consumer can be obtained by smart grid, but not with the current electricity infrastructure. The smart grid will be able to provide all information regarding the usage pattern of electricity consumption for the customer, which would help in the effectiveness in their usage of electricity. Uh, with this technology, consumer would be able to de determine what technology they own is using more electricity than the other and where there's less electricity usage. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what what manage, management organization and technology issues should be considered when developing a smart grid? So the first thing, management, uh, the, the developer should consider about customer awareness. Uh, this will help to persuade the customer to about the benefit of smart grid to lower, lower the electricity bills. The can the organization. Uh, the developer should do a research to have a concrete number of experts to prevent problem and chaotic things in their organization. So high cost need need, need to be conserved consider when developing a smart grid. The last thing which is technology. Uh, as in the case study. It shows that uh, people who are not aware of technology may may not favor the smart grid user interface. So complicated technology may not favor the, the ones who are not aware of technology. Another thing about technology is um, about the smart grid is, uh, as you know, smart grid integrated of ne networks and many components. So cyber security has to be considered too. Uh, what challenge to the development of smart grids do you think is most likely to hamper the development? Um, the de developer would be facing many challenges by developing the smart grid. Among many of the challenges, one of the main challenges is that infrastructure of the electricity is a difficult task. 
usually two-way meter pass information in both to and from homes that are installed at buildings which use electricity. Another change is creating an efficient end user interface. The main thing that needs to be kept in mind is that a smart grid won't be cheap with estimated cost minimum of $75 billion. Meters that run $250 to $500 each by using the new utility billing system. Another, cha another challenge is cyber attacks. As there will be many who disagree with the idea of smart grids, there will be many who would try to attack the development com company to cyber such as hacking into the system. Yeah. Uh, what other areas of infrastructure could be benefit from smart technologies? Uh, I would say water infrastructure because it is similar to electric. It could save both money and time for the service for not only the users, but the service provider too. For example, uh, the what a smart water infrastructure can decide to turn on and off sprinkle during the day uh, consider on the temperature and also inspection on-site inspection is no need for one by one to, to measure the water meters uh, also lower its lower workloads and increase efficiency for for example prevent under and over water plant watering too and so lastly um, would i like my home and my community to be a part of smart grid um, for me right now it's a no because um, as i read the case study there's the problem with the building system um, so like we don't know like is it going to be me, me or other average consumers are going to be paying for the meters and also about the smart grid technology promises how are we um, going to know that we get the promises that the smart grid technology um, has told us and also the integrity of energy companies and smart grid um, we would like to know that they won't be sharing information like energy usage with other people and also that they can protect themselves from cyber attacks. And there was one proposal by the officials to require every home to have remotely configurable thermostats, even though they got, uh, it got defeated. But this could imply that they would like to gather more information of their consumers, and that is unacceptable. And also lastly, there are challenges that Smart Grid is facing. And so they would be able to create a better end user interface and also plan how to change the infrastructure of the electricity, electricity grids effectively. And also they would like to um, need new technologies and new pricing plans as well. Thank you. Okay, thank you. So let's move on to the next team, please. So for the question from Richard Pat, um, you asked that, okay, for the team discussion, do we have to send it individually or just one of the group? Just one person in the group is enough, Kap. We would like to begin with the summary. From the but uh, from the was the bus on smart grids case study, it informed that uh, the fact that electricity in the United States that is outdated and insufficient seems like it could be replaced by a smart grid. Smart grid is an electrical grid automation that provides many high tech features. It can track energy consumption and manage to save energy while transferring electricity from suppliers to the consumers. This would be beneficial for customers to prevent the massive waste of electricity and increase reliability. However, even though they provided many benefits, there are some disadvantages that outweigh the advantage. And, and next we were talking about the difference between current electricity infrastructure and the smart grids. The first difference is that the smart grids enable people to know the amount of energy they used, while the current electricity infrastructure doesn't. And this function makes the smart grid to be the one device that will help people to save money and electricity. This is because 
the customer can perceive what part they use the most energy at peak time or much energy, so they can know what part to manage to use less electricity than normal. And another difference is the complication of using the technology. To explain, for the electricity grid, everyone can use it in daily life and they can use it without confusing method to use. It can be utilized by every age gap and does not require much learning to use it. However, the smart grid is different. For the smart grid, it will be more complicated to use and some people may complain that it's too technical and not appropriate to use it in daily life. Yes, Cap. Uh, someone in my group, uh, she, uh, she has a problem with her internet right now. Oh, so, really? Yeah. So, so um, what should we do? So this is not Nisha's group, right? Yeah. Oh, she. Oh, she just joined. Yeah, not Nisha. Okay. Okay. I apologize, Kajan. My internet is no insane. problem. No problem at all. Huh? <clears throat> I understand because this morning I got the problem as well. It cut. It was cut off. Yeah. So 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 for the issue when developing smart grids. Some companies which are considered as a small to medium business would think that it is not worth the money in this kind of technology because using their old version of technology might be enough and more appropriate. Moreover, some companies would not have an area that is suitable for installing the device due to the construction of the technology. Since there are some people who will use this technology in the household category and complains about the worthiness and health contradictions that using the old form of technology is preferable than the smart grids. Finding ways to reduce the cost is another way to increase the user. Next is the challenges that hamper the development of the smart grid. The first challenge is costly. This is because people who use it, this technology in household will think that it would be wasted for them. This is because in modern day, there are some electric device that already has a function that can help them to save their money and save the electricity, like air conditioner. And that function is called an air conditioner cycling program. It will allow us to set up time to turn on and off automatically so this can help them to save money already so they may think that it will not be worth for them to invest on this technology and another challenge is that the infrastructure of the electricity has to be modified i mean the whole one this is because the smart grid needs to go everywhere that use electricity thereby if we use the smart grid, we have to change all the electricity system. Additionally, we also need to set up the two-way meter due to the fact that the information has to flow from pro to those places like home and building, and it also has to flow from those places too. So this implies that the installing the system will be more complicated. And some people may think that it will be too much for them, like they have the light pole in front of the house and they 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 have to have another device like two-way meter in front of the house too. Yeah, so that's another challenge. Okay, let's move on to the next question. So what area will be uh will benefit from smart grid? So in my group, uh we think that uh apply the smart grid model to watering plant system is one of the good example. Like the plant watering system is like uh there's so there has so many features from smart grid technology model that we can adjust and adapt to the system such as measuring feature in electricity that we know like how much energy that we consume per day and so we can just change it to uh and set up into the watering plant system so we we know how much uh water that we're going to use per day or the heat sensor that uh, the, for the heat sensor that we we know that uh, 
how much water that we're gonna water per day. And moreover, the display function can be beneficial to see the data or analysis from the monitor by using an application that people can access easily from anywhere with just one click of button. And we, we also know uh, the progress of plan growing feature also that uh, this our plan is healthy or not. And we can visualize at a picture that help people to decide on how they are going to set up the system per day. Uh, and the last one, uh, some of our member think that we can use the smart grid. Uh, because uh, they just, it is appropriate and they would like to use this. This is because they will perceive all information of the uses of the electricity in their home. And the thing is, this is help them to figure out what activities that they use too much energy for so they can adjust themselves to use less electricity and realize themselves about the behaviors that lead to extravagance. And another will, installing smart grid in the house can help people to consider the amount of electricity usage. Because like if we provide uh, the smart grid technology to the community, the community can get the benefit and reduce uh, the amount of electricity from it. Because like it can change like people there are it can change people habit to use electricity in their house smartly and but however there is a, also a member in our group that would not agree with that because uh as there are some people who have said that it is not worth it to spend a huge uh a lot of money to add this kind of tool in their house because that they just think that uh, just changing their beh behavior can help them reduce uh, a, a paling bill. Uh, the obvious conclusion to be drawn is that this tool might be considered as a good and useful tool, but it might be better if they could develop it more to really facilitate people and might find some composition to reduce the expensive one, to reduce the cost and might draw more attention from people with low to medium income. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Hap. So let's move on to the next team. That is Daniel team. 